Hi, so today I'm going to show you how I do my bullet journal. This is for the month of November. I'm just doing a preview of what my October monthly bullet journal looked like. And now I move on to the November one. Usually first I like to get ideas off of Pinterest or Google. Um, I just like to search for simple ideas. I don't completely copy them. I just take different ideas from different ones that I've seen and I like to make it into my own um, ideas. So first I do an outline in pencil if it's something very specific that I want. So like this one I wanted the letters spaced out nicely and I wanted to have like a box border around the letters. So um, yeah I had to space that out so that it was centered and so then after that I trace over all of my pencil lines with a pen um, right now I am using a gel pen from Muji so sometimes I do try to write my calligraphy with a pencil first but then um, when I am writing it with a pen it does change sometimes so I decide to not use the pencil tracing sometimes just based on how I feel and I try to make um, my title pages pretty festive so this was this leaf idea was seen in one of the Pinterest posts where like the person had it around a border but in my case I'm using it to just add a little more color and um, to fill up the space in the bottom area of the page. Uh, so I shot this next part in my new apartment. I haven't done a video on that yet, but please look forward to it. So right now I am doing the calendar for the month. I am using this hexagon shaped stencil that um, will evenly make nice hexagons. And I will be doing like a honeycomb print for my calendar um, of November. So this plastic stencil I bought at Daiso, um, I'm not sure which Daisos have it. I don't know if the ones in the US are have these, um, so yeah. Typically when I do shapes with my stencils, I always just go straight on with pen. I don't trace with this pencil and then trace over it with a pen. I just go straight in with pen. So I chose, the theme that I chose for November was very orange and browns and reds colors because of fall. Um, I will not I'm not doing a very Thanksgiving theme just because I'm in Japan and we don't really have um, Thanksgiving. So yeah, as you can see here, I wrote in all the numbers for all of the days and yeah. So next I'm moving on to my um, month monthly overspread. And what you saw right there, the page that I turned back to, is my grid guide. 
So I find it very helpful that at the beginning of your bullet journal to have a guide of like the spacing. So how many spaces are there in the grid of the page? And then like I have like just different lines on how to evenly space out um, the page if I were to do like boxes or if I want to split the page in half or if I just want to find the center that's how I do it so next um, I like to try to get ahead in my work so any permanent events or stuff that happens I write in pen and then I am also using my college syllabus to check assignments and things that are Im important assignments and tests that happen so I will even if those dates are permanent I will write them in pen otherwise if the dates are likely to change I write them in erasable pen uh, here I use my I'm listening to music um, my playlist is in the link below I have it on Spotify and on YouTube. So we are back filming in my dorm now and I will be doing my weekly spreads. So weekly spreads can go, can span the week on one page or two pages. Because it is nearing the end of the year, I am running out of page space. So I am doing one week on one page. At the beginning of the year, I did do, um, a week on two pages for some weeks so if you look back on my Instagram you can see those designs I try to vary the look and the style of how my weekly spreads are just because I think having the same weekly spread is gets boring so I like to try and change it up a little bit every once in a while Uh, so here I am carefully drawing boxes around for each day. As you can see, I use a napkin to wipe the side of my ruler. Sometimes um, 
the pens I use spread ink onto the ruler and create smudging on the paper or it just add leaves black marks on some pens that I use especially with like felt tip um, pens it leaves ink on the ruler and then the ink color transfers to another colored pen and I just don't like dealing with that so I try to wipe my ruler if I'm using a pen that transfers ink onto the ruler. So I use my grid guide pretty often when I am doing my bullet journal um, just because I try to make things as even as possible. Sometimes it will be uneven or I get lazy or tired and I just don't check if it's even or not. And sometimes it's very hard to find like an even ground point when you're doing seven days in a row and it just you don't have like enough space for it to line up in seven rows so it all just depends on what numbers you're using to outline your week So sometimes I like to have a little freehand action. I don't like everything exactly perfect. Sometimes it looks nice when it's a little messy. So yeah, this is what I did there. I used the brush tip of a felt tip pen that I got from Muji and I created all those blocks where I will write the dates in and then I used the really small circle on my stencil to create dots. Sometimes I like to practice with different ideas that I have, so I use a index card to just practice and see if I like the style or not, and if I'm going to go with it or not. So yeah, I always have index cards on me or scratch paper that I like to use to um, design borders or just to try out different fonts on words that I want to write. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of calligraphy style wording in my bullet journal recently just because that takes a lot of time and for to do this month um, it took over two hours of filming and normally I will take about 30 minutes to an hour to do a bullet journal but this one I wanted to really show you guys what I would usually do and so I did do it at a slower pace as well as more intricately compared to the last month that I've done. 
So now I'm doing the baseline for my hours of sleep and then my number of steps I take. Um, I have an app that I track my sleep to see how good of a quality my sleep has been and how long I have slept as well as I do have a Fitbit so I like to keep track of my steps especially here in Japan um, for me knowing how much I've walked for a day is just very interesting to know and I think it's good to keep track of so this is my first time doing something like this where I have more of a drawing setting for my steps um, usually I will have like circles and I fill in the circles with different colors based on these steps or I just have a list of all my steps throughout the day I do have a step goal so I will normally make that a different color or highlight it in such a way that it makes it stand out that I've reached my goal um, I will see how this works and in my December video I will let you know if I like it or not um, we shall see So yep, that's the end of my November monthly overspread. Thank you very much for watching and here is a quick overview. I posted this overview video of my month on my Instagram and please follow.